I'm Amy, and today I'm going to tell you about how CareSync can help you worry a little less as you send your teenager off to college. As any parent who's sent their teen to college can tell you, there's a lot of worrying and preparation that goes into that event. But one of the areas that's often missed is making sure that your teenager is ready to manage their health. Since a lot of times that teenager sees the new doctors at the health clinic or in their new city, they often don't have all their medical information with them, and so they're seeing providers that are kind of starting from a blank sheet of paper. They're relying on your teen to remember their relevant information or to remember to bring their records from home. So CareSync has a set of applications and services to help you with that. So we're going to go through various sets of tools, but first I'm going to show you how you can request their records. So if you've ever tried to get your teen's medical records or your medical records, you know this can be quite a painful process. But with CareSync, that process is really simple. You simply select the provider you want to request the records for, click the green Request Records button, and pick how far you'd like to go back, what type of records you'd like to receive, and you get a HIPAA authorization form. From here, you just sign that request, say that you're the parent of the minor in this case, and then we go and get those records for you. So at this point, CareSync goes and gets all those records from all the different doctors, and we start to build out a health profile. So here you can see that Sean has two active health conditions, and he has some past conditions as well. Sean has some different medications that he takes on a regular basis, as well as some that are in the past. And you can see that there's various documents that have been added in in Sean's records, things like the immunization form he needs for college, recent dental visits, his diabetes notes, as well as his shoulder injury notes, and even his tonsillectomy he had as a child. So all of this information gets built and stored so that you and your teenager have access to it. You can view it or share it, update it at any time. We also build a medical timeline that allows you to scroll through and see relevant information about each visit. For example, you can click on a visit and see a brief history of what happened at that visit, see any tasks that were associated with it, and even the actual visit note. You can click on that and see the visit note itself. So as you go through this, sometimes you might want to filter out to find exactly what you're looking for. So you can filter by date or provider or by the different type of visit, the health condition, or even the medication. So today, since Sean is going to be going to see his new college doctor at the clinic, we're going to sort by diabetes. And you can see that it's filtered out that timeline to just have the diabetes notes. From here, Sean can go to View and Share and pick Health Summary, Health Timeline, and get a report that actually is ready and easy to share with his doctor. And what's great about this is it's just a brief summary of these visits, so the doctor doesn't have to take a lot of time flipping through hundreds of pages of notes and trying to figure out what's important. All of this important information is already summarized so that it's a quick, just a few page document that they can quickly scan and understand exactly what they need to know so that they can treat Sean better. So now that Sean has all of his records and you know that Sean has the ability to share them at the doctor as they go, then that reduces a little bit of that worry. But now CareSync has even more value because it gives Sean tools to manage his health on a day-to-day -day basis. So here's Sean's day and has the medications that he has to take today, shows that he's taken his morning meds, he's missed one of his afternoon meds, and he's due for his evening meds. It also shows that Sean has his new patient appointment at the student health clinic at his new college. And he also has some tasks that he needs to complete today. So now I'm going to log into the mobile device since we know teenagers really love those the most and show you how Sean can interact with the system. As you can see, Sean's now up on the mobile device. It can be on an iPad or Android device or an iPhone. So here we're on the iPad mini. And you can see that Sean has his day here just like you saw on the web. So Sean can come in and track his medications so he can say that he did take those and he just forgot to track them. They were on time. And then you can see that he has his new patient visit here. So here you can have just the member notes that you put in. So in this case, the mom has put in a few notes and Sean's put one in. So do you think Sean needs a continuous glucose monitor and are there any diabetic meals available in the dining hall? So Sean can come in and use this as he goes to his visit. So there can be before visit tasks, after visit tasks, and then there's that notes and files section where Sean can take notes. One of the great things that people love about CareSync is there's this microphone option. So you can always come in here and click the microphone. And then this lets you record the doctor's instructions. 
So Sean can actually save that. And then now you can listen to that as well after the visit. So if you want to know how Sean's first diabetic appointment really went with the new doctor at the student health clinic, then as long as Sean gives you permission, you can also hear that and help him manage that health. Then after the visit, CareSync gets the records from this visit and we update that provider notes section so that you have that in your health timeline so that you can share it at the next visit. It also adds tasks in. So Sean has his own task list here that also will give him health reminders. So from here you can see that he's supposed to check his glucose before dinner. So we can mark that one off as completed. And he's supposed to weigh on his Fitbit scale. So we can mark that one off that he did that today. You can, how you can see there's different tasks. So as far as things in the future, like getting his dental visits or his eye exam, it's also going to notify you so that you can make sure that those things happen. And then one of the things that Sean really likes a lot is that he also can manage his uh, glucose using a glucometer that talks directly to CareSync. So from here you can see that you can get your different um, trending here. So if Sean wants to show his doctor exactly how things have been going, he can show here's his trend. So he had one little spike of some high glucose, but pretty much he's been pretty well managed from here. You can also show his weight. So he's working on his weight a lot because after his shoulder injury when he couldn't exercise as much, he gained some weight. So you can see from his one year graph here that he's been climbing steadily over the last while, but now he's starting to go back down. So this is a way that Sean can share this with his doctor and then you can also follow along to make sure that Sean doesn't gain that typical freshman 15 in his first year at college. So as you can see, the CareSync Plus service can help keep all of this information current for Sean because what teenager really wants to keep all their health information and make sure that it's all up to date. But our CareSync service will update the medications and tasks and that timeline after each visit so that Sean doesn't have to and so that the parents can make sure that they're comfortable and Sean's getting the care he needs. So it's a great way to let teenagers go off to college, have parents not worry quite as much, and to make sure that Sean stays healthy. If you'd like to know more, go to caresync.com, and we'll be happy to do a demo for you individually. Thank you.